Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. You already know it's Dash Trail back with another video. If you don't know, now you know. Welcome to the club because it's all love. But so I'm gonna show you first time mommies, or even if you're not a first time mommy, if you just never had one. This is how I listen to my baby's heartbeat. You can wait till your ultrasounds or you can buy one of these just for your own reassurance, but I bought one for my own reassurance. I have really bad anxiety, so I kind of need it to know. Poplar. Listen to my baby's heartbeat. And I got it for a deal because the deal came with batteries and the ultrasound gel which is the sound booster. So it came with this also. I think I spent like, maybe like 60 something dollars. Which wasn't bad compared to a lot of places. So I'm gonna show you how this works and how, how you can listen to your baby's heartbeat at home. So first you want to, there are three buttons. Not sure what this is, gotta look it up again. There's the power button in the middle and there's the light. So you wanna hold the power button and this will be on. You have different numbers at the top. One, two, and three. I'll give you one. Always turn it down. As soon as you turn it on, turn it down because it's so loud. And the one, two, and three are different modes. I'm about to look it up because I can't remember. Mode one is a heart icon is displayed when the heartbeat is detected and the real time heart rate is displayed numerically. Numerically. I don't know, I know I'm messing it up. Mode two, a heart icon to display is displayed when the heartbeat is detected and it average it averages the heart rate for a more stable reading in mode three this mode allows the user to calculate an average heart rate over a specific period of time by manually pushing a button to start and stop the time so those are your three modes i usually use two because it gives me an average only because I don't think, I don't honestly think these are accurate when it comes to the heartbeat because with my baby, they move or something, they just don't sit still. So the heartbeat, you'll hear it and then you won't cause they moved. So that is the different modes. The sound booster is just to amplify the noise just so you can hear it. So we're gonna, Turn on the power and we're gonna do mode two. Mode two. You can tell the battery right here and it's a three megahertz. I think it's megahertz. I think that's what that stands for. Don't give me the line. So, yeah. You have the volume control right here. You can hear the noise, of course. I'm gonna turn that down. The probe right here. You have the light, it changes. And of course you have your speaker right here. And the batteries go in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use a Doppler at home. And it has a headphone jack. But I'm gonna show you how to use this at home. And I'm on the floor only because I don't I sit on the floor sometimes. So this is my location right now. And I say you get a pillow just to prop yourself up just so you won't be completely laying flat because you don't never want to lay completely flat while pregnant. So let me show you how this works. 
just because of the stuff that you use. I ripped my paper towel all around back. And you want to tuck it right around there or lower depending on how pregnant you are. I'm 18 weeks, so my baby is above my waistline now, so I don't have to be all in my pubic hair area. Well, pub area. You want to turn this on. You want to take the probe out. It's a little tough to take it out. We'll just pull it off. And I'm going to untangle this. I usually put the Doppler right here on my chest just so it's not moving around and I can hear it clearly. And or by my ear. You want to put about this much, maybe a little bit more, but I pretty much know where my baby is, but yeah, probably some more if you really have to search. If this is your first time, I would suggest using more, but I'm not going to use that much. So you just start in one area. And you want to, just for instance, you have it standing, standing straight up. You want to push it to the left, down, or in the area. You want to go like this. I'm going to turn it up loud just so you can hear it. See? I'm not moving, but you hear moving. My baby's in there moving around. So that's what that noise is. But you slide it around and basically look. It's the position that they're in that makes it not as loud as usual. And I just heard it again, but they're moving around. And that's how you know they're moving around. I had their heartbeat just now, and I don't know more. So that means they moved. And that's my heartbeat. So you can really tell a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and stop because I don't like using them for too long, only because of the, I guess the radiation or however, it, however this works. Cause I know that some type of, it's some type of bouncing off thing going on to get the baby's heart beat. So I always, I hit my head. <laughs> so I always stop after I hear their heartbeat cause I know they're okay. 
So once that's once I've heard it, I just hold the power button and it turns back off. And then you just take this, take the paper towel. And wipe your stomach off. Now, if you're early, I would say wait until you're at least 12 weeks to try to use one of these. Only because it'll be harder to find. My baby is still small, but they're big enough for me to detect up here um, in this area, depending on how low they're sitting, because my baby likes to go down here still. But when you're early, your doctor might be all in your pew area with the, with the probe and everything. But yeah, that is how you use a Sonaline B baby Doppler to hear your baby's heartbeat make sure everything sounds okay this is not for a diagnosis of anything this is just literally your baby's alive that's it that's all um i wouldn't get too caught up in it because as mothers not even first time mothers as mothers period we won't notice if there's anything wrong so this is just to know that they're in there they're alive and that's it they're alive that's all i need to know that they're alive because you can have a missed miscarriage which it excuse me a missed miscarriage is basically where you have a miscarriage but you don't bleed so you could possibly think you're pregnant because you're not bleeding but your baby's heart stopped so Ever since I learned that, I've had a fear like, oh my God, I can wake up and my baby's heartbeat stop. So when I feel like, or if I don't feel them moving or anything, I always use this to give myself reassurance. If you want to know if there's anything wrong specifically, I would suggest you to stick with your doctor. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you for coming to the club because you know it's all love. Peace.